fungicide and insecticide in corn. Darren, should I spray my fields this year? Well, the odds are, yes, you should. You know, when it comes to insecticide, we like to see bugs out there before we ever recommend putting right, insecticide right. in the mix. So if you're scouting your cornfields and you say, whoa, I've got some stock borers around the end. I've got some corn borer egg masses out there. And you say, you know what? My crop is worth $1,000 an acre, and it costs me $2 an acre to put a pyrethroid insecticide in there. Yeah, in that case, well, I think two bucks, that's probably worth yeah, it. Yeah, but let's not forget, you need to spray at full tassel. Don't do it earlier than that. We've seen yield loss when you spray earlier than tasseling. Well, hold so, on, hold so on, hold on. full tassel, if not even early silk. If we're talking in that V5 timing, that's, That's a whole fine. different deal. But when we're saying right at tassel or just, just before tassel, you, know, you see a few tassels out in your field, that's a real critical time for safety with your corn. You want to see full tassel to first silk just to be on the safe side. Okay, now I kind of set you up a little bit, Darren, in the beginning when I asked, should I be spraying this on our farm? I don't want to spray on most of our acres, and the reason why is because the tests we've run, we haven't gained yield. Now, that's not to say that if you're in an area where you have gray leaf spot, you shouldn't spray, because gray leaf spot's a horrible disease. It's going to probably rob 20 to 40 bushels off your grain. You've got to spray if you've got gray leaf spot or if you're concerned about it. We've never had that on our farm yet. So the tests that we've run over many different varieties, several different years, Years, several different fungicides, rates, everything, timings. We just haven't been able to make it work. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. What Brian, do you mean, you know, blah, blah, blah? blah, I, I don't, blah, I'm, blah. I'm tired here's, of spending $20 an acre We're talking, and not getting a payback. We're talking no about dry land production in yep. an arid area of the country. Yeah, but still, That's we're getting 200 bushel now. corn. We're still getting 200 bushel corn. I understand corn. that, but we don't have a huge amount of disease pressure, and a lot of our corn this year is first year corn, so we don't have a lot of corn on corn. So let's talk about where you're going to see a greater likelihood of these things paying off. Now, we're trying some V5 fungicide on corn again this year. We'll see how that early fungicide pass does. But at tassel time, I agree with you, it's going to cost a little more. You're going to have to hire a plane to do it in most yep, cases. Yep, you're going to spend $20 bucks an acre by the time you get the application, the fungicide, and the insecticide okay, in there. So, so you've need... got to have at least four bushels just to break even. All right. And I like to double my money on any investment I do in the farm, so I'd like eight. I want to get okay, eight bushels that's back. That's fair. That's fair. So let's look at where you may get that eight bushel. Yep. Now, if you've got some irrigation, I would say that it's a no-brainer. Also, if you're in continuous corn, if you're a no-tiller and you're doing continuous corn, now you really have a shot at having more disease pressure in the field. That would be something I'd definitely do. And then finally, if you're planting a racehorse-type variety, you've well, got a one that's kind of weak, variety. kind of weak yeah. on disease, that's one that I'd be concerned about, and that's where I'd put some fungicide on. One thing I'm going to add there, Darren, is on our farm, I don't think we're getting results on the fungicide piece of things because we've taken out a lot of the other stresses. We've got good drainage now with all the tile we put in. We have very high fertility rates. We've built up our soil with organic matter and plant nutrients. We've done a good job of controlling weeds and early season diseases and insects. So we don't have lots of other stresses and maybe that's why we're getting some diseases showing up but they're not doing a lot of damage to us because they're not gray leaf spot or anything like All that. All right. Well the other thing too is putting insecticide with it. If you've got some bugs out there, yep. chances are wherever those bugs are biting on your plant you have a spot for disease to get in. So I think it is good if you got some bugs out there for another couple of bucks Hey, you only have to pay that application cost one time. If you can tank mix something else in, you got a better shot of it paying. Well, it's very important to control diseases and insects and corn. It's also important to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 